farmers, and honorable speaker, allow me to take this opportunity to speak to our farmers. Because our farmers, yes, honorable uh, speaker, Jeanette? our farmers, honorable speaker, honorable Jeanette, what's out of order? Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you for indulging me. Mr. Speaker, is it in order for the majority leader to behave in a, ma in a manner that like he's answering the question on behalf of the executive when he's supposed to go and fetch for answers from the executive? Mr. Speaker, stick to your role. Mr. You refuse to be a minister on your own volition. Stick to your role. Mr. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaker, first, I do not know whether Junette had any powers to appoint anybody as a cabinet minister. <laughs> And I don't know <laughs> whether he was the one appointing me as a cabinet minister to purport that I refuse to be a cabinet minister. Uh, I believe if I desired and His Excellency President found me befitting, he would have engaged me. But the coalition you belong to, Honorable Junette, had no opportunity to appoint anybody to any position of uh, <laughs> a cabinet <laughs> secretary. And Honorable Speaker, I was not uh, pretending to be answering. I was just uh, speaking to facts. And uh, those facts are within the public domain that we project to harvest close to 30 million bags this year and our normal consumption is about 40 million bags so there will definitely be a shortage of maize however and honorable speaker that's uh, the point at which uh, honorable Jeanette interrupted me uh, because he's he's averse to the truth and facts he thrives in propaganda in windows and uh, such like things uh, but facts of the matter, Honorable Speaker, are that with the yes, anticipated honorable, shortage, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Jeanette, what is the... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you know, this is a house of records, Mr. Speaker. When you insinuate or when you say that uh, I thrive on propaganda and when, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this man used to be a very good man before he became the majority leader. Now power has gotten into his head. Mr. Speaker, we need to take him to rehabilitation in this uh, coming this session that we are, this recess, this long recess, and I'm traveling with him, I'll tell him what to do. Please, Chamber, you're a good man, Bana. Easy, these small jobs that you are, we are given, we have gone through this. So please, don't say that I thrive on propaganda. There is no propaganda. I was just telling you that go and get the answer from the Minister for Agriculture. Why, or the Minister for Industry, why he's importing 10 million bags of GMO. And they're saying even the ship has docked. That's what today the newspapers were saying. Whether it is true or false, we don't know. Those are the information. Go and fetch for us. You're just a messenger. Stick to your job. Yeah. Finish up, uh, majority. Just tell us when you want to bring Honorable, Honorable Speaker, you know, when I, when I said uh, the Honorable Junet thrives in uh, propaganda, yeah, he's now quoting newspapers that <laughs> it's only him who seems to have read those newspapers. Uh, I, I, I read his tweet yesterday speaking to matters that are already before a committee of this house where he sits in. And those tweets, Honorable Speaker, and I think is something that we also may need to address ourselves to. You cannot yes, be Honorable tweeting Honorable on matters Speaker. that are before committees of the house contrary to standing order 86. And he was a mem is a member of that committee and never attends committee Majority, sittings. there is a point of order from the Honorable Ferdinand. Give him the mic. Mr. Speaker, I just want to make a correction that the figures that uh, the, the leader of the majority is coming up with are falsy, I come from the North Rift. What there is that we have, we are estimated, and in fact, Mr. Speaker, there are farmers who have refused to sell maize for the previous season. If you add up this, we are talking about 48,000 uh, 38 million bucks. So the figures that uh, the leader is coming up with, I want just to correct him in good faith that I'm not correct. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And now that is advice now, Honorable Speaker, that the House can take because that the Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi not only represents farmers, but he's also a maize farmer. And he, he's speaking facts. And uh, it's only that probably he didn't get, I said the estimated harvest for this year is about 30 million bags. But I was also saying I take this opportunity to speak to our farmers. And uh, that is where now we converge with Honorable Wanyonyi, that indeed there are farmers who are holding maize. And some farmers are actually holding maize. And that's why I wanted to speak to our farmers to allow the forces of demand and supply to, 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 to prevail.